We're learning alarming new details about Hassan Choker's movements. The day police say he threatened parents and children outside of a Bloomfield Hills synagogue. It really was a frightening afternoon. Police say later that day he went to a Dearborn gun store to buy weapons. As Jason Colthorpe reports, the feds say it highlights what could have happened that day. It really is pretty ominous when you hear the threats the feds say Shokur was making while he was looking for a weapon here at Dearborn Outdoors. And it all came to light because of a brief filed by the federal government in an effort to keep him in jail. Filed Thursday, the brief, which was first obtained by the Detroit News, offers a timeline and mindset of Shokur on December 3rd. After police say he made threatening statements to parents and kids at Temple Bethel and Bloomfield Hills, he went to a gun shop in search of a weapon. As we've reported, he was denied that purchase on the spot because he failed the background check and has since been charged with a felony for lying on the federal gun form. But the feds say while he was deciding on a weapon, he could be seen here in surveillance photos pointing and pulling the trigger of unloaded weapons. A witness at the store overheard Shoker saying he would use the weapons for, quote, God's wrath. While waiting for the background check, he was also heard to say, it ain't a fair fight out here. I'm going to even the score. I'm going to even the playing field real soon, brothers, real soon. After he was denied the sale, the feds say Shokur became upset and threatened to break in to get those guns, as evidenced by a later post on his social media. Time to bust out the drywall, he wrote. It's Uzi time. The way you're judging me? God's going to judge you the same way. Shokur has lashed out at judges in several of his recent court appearances, including pulling his pants down in one instance. He is facing charges related to the threats at the synagogue, a separate felony assault charge, as well as that federal charge for lying about his criminal past on the form to obtain a gun. In the end, by the way, the judge did side with the prosecution and Shokur will remain in jail until he faces that federal gun charge in Dearborn. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Thank you, Jason.